the summer of slang, and today we're getting down with crisp, lit, and epic. This video is going to be epic. I can't wait for you to start using these words. So this is the summer of slang in American English. If you're not sure what slang is, watch the first video from this series where we go over the difference between slang and idioms. Today we're going to learn some positive slang, so be prepared to use these and feel good and make other people feel good. First, let's talk about crisp. When I was planning this video, I posted on Facebook asking my friends and family what slang terms they've been hearing recently. And my cousin, who works at a high school, mentioned crisp. Lots of slang that is current is happening in high schools, so I went and looked up crisp, and I found a posting on it on Urban Dictionary from 2007, 10 years ago now. So sometimes a term will be used, and then it'll die for a couple of years, and then it'll be revived again. Or sometimes a term can be developed, and then it takes a while to reach the U.S. or a different region in the U.S. So my cousin, who is a math teacher, said she recently heard this term. One of her students said it after a very compelling solution to a math problem was presented. Crisp means cool, awesome, hot, amazing, well done. They forgot to charge me for my drinks. Crisp. What are you doing tonight? Going to a party in Beverly Hills. Crisp. What do you think of Emily's new haircut? Crisp. This is a common word outside of its slang meaning. As an adjective, it means dry, brittle, in a good way. The opposite of soggy. For example, crisp bacon, crisp lettuce, mmm, yummy. As a noun in American English, it's a baked dessert, some sort of fruit with a crumble on top, like a blueberry crisp. In British English, it's a potato chip. Now, if you're using it as slang, I've heard that an alternative pronunciation is crasp. Just more play, a play on pronunciation on top of the play of the slang meaning. Crasp. Lit. This word also means amazing, excellent, full of energy. The party last night was lit. This is how it's really being used a lot by the younger crowd at the moment, but it also has a different meaning, which has actually been around for a long time, and that is drunk, intoxicated, too much alcohol. I'm ready to get lit tonight. He was so lit at the party. So someone can be lit at a party, and the party can be lit. Non-slang meaning, it's the past tense of light, to brighten, to illuminate. What about epic? This is a much used term, added as an adjective before anything to mean great, huge, awesome, the best. You really might hear it with anything, an epic movie, an epic sandwich, an epic sunset, an epic story or experience. We drove south on the Pacific Coast Highway. It was epic. A couple years ago, I took an epic road trip across America, eight weeks on the road. Remember mom's 70s outfit at our high school graduation? <laughs> that was an epic outfit. It can also be used with fail to describe something that has gone very wrong. Well, this cake is an epic fail. I totally forgot about it and left it in the oven for two hours. Crisp, lit, epic. Look, they all have the I vowel. The KR cluster can be hard for some people. Make sure your tongue tip isn't touching anything. Kr, kr, lit. Now that's gonna be a stop T. You don't wanna make it a true T, lit. Make it a stop T, lit, lit where you stop the air. You'll put your tongue into position, lit, but then you don't need to release it. That's what Americans do, lit. It was lit. He was lit. Epic, first syllable stress. Epic, epic. So the second syllable will be low in pitch, flat, very quick, pick, 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 pick. Epic, epic. Be epic. 
Come up with a sentence with one of these terms and put it in the comments below. If you want to see my absolute most recent video, click here. If you're new and you want to know more about what kinds of English lessons I do, then click here. Be sure to subscribe and check back often. And the thing that would be the best possible thing would be for you to sign up for my mailing list, rachelsenglish.com newsletter.